Well, I'm very glad that Yusha Paul has actually paved the way um, for my answers to this question. Um, over the three years of COVID, we have actually uh, discussed a lot about the topic of recovery and resilience and also um, quality growth um, with our um, clients domestically and globally. Mm. And as you said, huh, and the resilience is not only a thought on over economy and the supply chain as a, for in the key industries as a result, but also uh, on general consumer confidence, willingness to spend and the buying behavior as a starting point. Um, BCG interviewed 9,000 consumers um, at the end of 2022 and the beginning of 2023. Right. And, and across age groups and income levels and covering tier one to tier five cities. And we asked them um, about their demand preference for um, 45 uh, categories of goods and services, including food, clothing, housing, auto um, um, and uh, um, consumer electronics, so on and so forth. Two major findings and to um, echo what you know, speakers on, on so far have said. Uh, number one, China expect to add 73 million middle class consumers by 2030. Right. And with 70% coming from lower tier cities, they're not only coming from Shanghai, Beijing, Shenzhen, but also from tier three cities and, uh, and below. The second point, Chinese consumers um, across age groups, and uh, we're talking about four age groups, huh? and, and across many categories, show strong willingness to trade up, even after the COVID. Some are for better quality, some are for bigger brands, mm -hmm. and some are for per personal preferences. So we believe these are fundamental. Not, not only for domestic companies, but also for global companies, how to capture this growing economy, growing willingness to spend and the consumer uh, trends. Mm. It's really you know, coming from consumer, not only from channel.